the 2025 Invictus Games in Vancouver, a beacon of hope and inspiration for wounded veterans, are facing a storm of controversy that threatens to overshadow the event's core mission. At the heart of this storm lies the potential participation of Meghan Markle, a figure whose presence has ignited a firestorm of debate, dividing public opinion and straining relations between the Sussexes and their Canadian hosts. The Invictus Games, founded by Prince Harry, have historically enjoyed strong royal support, with endorsements from Prince Charles, Prince William and Catherine, Princess of Wales. These endorsements, coupled with the game's focus on celebrating the resilience and courage of wounded veterans through adaptive sports, have helped elevate the event to international acclaim. However, recent years have seen a decline in the game's public perception. A Netflix documentary series focusing on the event, rather than achieving critical success, received lackluster ratings and criticism for its focus on Prince Harry rather than the athlete's achievements. Critics argued that the documentary overshadowed the extraordinary accomplishments of the athletes themselves, undermining the core mission of celebrating their courage. Enter Meghan Markle, whose potential presence at the Vancouver Games has sparked both excitement and concern. Some see her involvement as a way to amplify the event's message of resilience for wounded veterans, leveraging her star power to attract significant media attention and raise awareness for the cause. However, others fear that her participation will overshadow the true heroes, the athletes themselves. Critics point to Meghan's past public appearances, which have often sparked controversy and criticism, leading many to speculate that her participation could turn the event into a celebrity spectacle detracting from its core mission of celebrating veterans' courage. Concerns about her fashion choices and penchant for attracting media attention have fueled speculation that her presence could overshadow the athletes' stories, turning the games into a platform for Megan's publicity rather than a tribute to valor. Adding fuel to the fire, reports indicate that Canadian authorities have issued a warning to Prince Harry, advising him against bringing Megan to the games. Officials have expressed disapproval of her planned attendance, suggesting Harry attend solo or with the rest of the royal family. This warning reflects broader dissatisfaction with Meghan's behavior and a perceived lack of gratitude for Canada's role in hosting the Games, especially considering the couple's stay in the country from 2019 to 2020. Further fueling the controversy, reports suggest Meghan has made numerous demands for the trip, including requests for a private jet, luxury accommodation, a security detail, limousine service, a dedicated media team, and a donation to their charitable foundation. Canadian officials have reportedly rejected these demands, insisting that Harry and Meghan adhere to the same protocols as other guests and dignitaries. This stance has only exacerbated tensions between the Sussexes and their Canadian hosts, Public sentiment in Canada has turned notably negative as the games approach. Many Canadians perceive Meghan and Harry's demands as emblematic of entitlement and a lack of respect for the event's integrity. The prospect of the Invictus Games becoming a platform for Meghan's publicity has led some to express reluctance to support the event, with some Vancouver residents declaring they would not attend if the couple were present. As the 2025 Invictus Games draw nearer, the drama surrounding Meghan Markle's potential participation underscores the ongoing tensions between the Sussexes and their Canadian hosts. With officials issuing stern warnings and public backlash intensifying, the couple finds themselves at a crossroads. The question remains, will their presence at the Games ultimately be embraced or serve to further polarize public opinion Will the Games become a platform for celebrating the resilience of veterans or a stage for the Sussexes' personal drama? The answer, like the future of the Invictus Games in Vancouver, remains uncertain, 